Hello everyone, with patch 10.25 just out, if Blizzard continue the pattern we've seen in Dragonflight, we'll be getting patch 10.26 on the PTR any day now. That's if it's not already live by the time you see this. In the roadmap, Blizzard was given very little away about what we could expect from this patch, so I thought it would be fun to speculate a little bit about what we can expect to find and take a look at some of the potential MAIA features that they might decide to include. The most obvious thing, of course, is pirates. And this isn't just something that's come out of nowhere with the roadmap. Way back in patch 1007, Blizzard dropped a bunch of pirate related hints into the game. There's a couple of pirate related quests, one to bomb a bunch of pirates in their ship, and one which involves dealing with some presumably shipwrecked pilots and stealing their supplies. Go us. There's also a bunch of Iron Tide pirate NPCs along the northern coast of the Reach. But by far the most interesting thing was a lore book, The Return of the Night Squall, that can be found below deck on a pirate ship just off the coast. This book tells the story of Captain Night Squall, a night elf who ran away from home to become a pirate and rose through the ranks to claim his own ship. Night Squall went, went on to discover Pandaria long before the Horde and Alliance got there and allegedly created a stash of gold in the island of Tel Aviv. These hints were interesting enough that over the summer there was a lot of community speculation that the next expansion could be pirate themed, possibly based on the mysterious island of Avalorn that's mentioned in another lore book that was discovered in the new version of Alderman. These theories were eventually debunked a bit by a Twitter post from Blizzard's President Mike Ybarra, and of course we now know that the main themes of the next expansion are definitely not pirates. But with the pirate flag hint, it does feel that we'll still be seeing some pirate action a lot sooner than the next expansion. So what could that be? One of the staples of Dragonflight patches has been the public events, and this is probably the most likely option. Blizzard have quite often added new events into the existing areas of the game, and there's plenty of coastal areas that could make for a pirate event. Now I kind of feel that the mystery Blizzard has created around this patch sets expectations a bit higher than usual and I think that a single location event like Time Rifts might turn out to be a bit disappointing given that but how about a more dynamic event where the pirates could assault just about anywhere along the coasts of the Dragon Isles perhaps an assault on the Scarra that disrupts the soup events followed by attacks on some of the other coastal outposts of the waiting shore of the plains. Maybe we'll have to defend the new harbour in a weird from an assault. In fact, thinking about that harbour, that can make for a great base of operations for us to take the fight back to the pirates. And if we do take the fight back, where's that fight going to go? Where are these pirates? Well, there's a bunch of islands just to the north of the new Amirdrasil zone that have been there pretty much since Dragonflight release. They're almost completely empty, there's not even really any NPCs on them. One thing that's been notable in Dragonflight is the way that the new content that's been added in the patches has been able to fit into existing locations that often look like they were always intended for that content. And given the lore book was added back in 1027, Blizzard have clearly been planning this pirate event for quite a while. Of course, most WoW patches don't stop with just a public event, and not everything has to be pirate themed. So what else can we expect to see in the patch? Now since time walking was added in late mists of Pandaria, every expansion Blizzard have expanded the time walking rotation by adding another old expansion's dungeons into the pool. Now something that's quite noticeable at the new roadmap is that there's no mention of time walking dungeons, even though we're now pretty much overdue to add BFA into the pool. Given the popularity of time walking, it feels unlikely to me that they would not include it into the roadmap. Unless, of course, the patch it was intended to be included in was the patch that didn't have any other details in it. Now, one other possibility, of course, could be with 1027 having this time running feature, but that could be when they add it. But with the title there being Pandemonium and hinting more towards Mist of Mandaria, it doesn't really feel a great fit to me. It might also just be simply that, you know, they're not sure when time walking's going to be ready and they can't share any details, but, yeah, you know, I kind of start to suspect that maybe 1026 is when it's planned for. And, you know, what dungeon does BFA include that was a fan favourite? Do you remember what that dungeon was themed on? Just saying.
On the subject of freehold, I think it could be really cool if they added freehold to the Faller dungeon pool, perhaps with Flim, Talia and Shaw coming along on a pirate adventure. Now, honestly, that's a bit of a stretch. Given the Horde Alliance split in that expansion, Horde players would probably find it a bit weird to be teaming up with those three. Now, with the Faller dungeons just now, I suspect they'll want to see how they go before adding more to them. So, yeah, it's realistically, I think, just too early for something like this, which is a bit of a shame because I think it would be cool. And I'm really enthusiastic about those Faller dungeons and I do hope that they will be expanded on in the future. Now, in an interview with Bellular back around the launch of Shadowlands, game director Ian Hazzy Costas, when asked about time walking, did mention that he felt that a new time walking raid was a bit overdue. Blizzard haven't added a new raid every expansion, but the next uh, time walking raid is likely to be from Mists of Pandaria. Ian said his favourite was Throne of Thunder, but since then there have also been some data mined updates to Siege of Ogrimmar rewards. So I think either of those raids could actually end up being a possible option. Now personally, I'm expecting a new mop raid would fit better with the pandemonium theme of 1027. So even if they do add BFA time walking dungeons in 1026, my guess is that the raid might not appear until that later patch. Another feature that's often requested is the Brawler's Guild. In the past, questions about this to the devs have usually got vague, we'd like to bring it back, but no promises. But in recent interviews, the responses have become a little bit more positive, with them saying that they would like to bring it back in a more evergreen manner. Now, these haven't been very firm promises, so this is still a bit of a massive stretch. But with no mention of it elsewhere in the roadmap, I think 1026 is the likely best chance for it to turn up, if it does turn up in this expansion. And there is some reason to think it could appear. Black and last summer, a bunch of seemingly random boss NPCs and abilities were data mined that didn't really fit anywhere else into the game. Now that could just have been an experiment the team were working on that didn't pan out, but a lot of people did think that the guild would be quite a perfect fit for these bosses. So let's keep our fingers crossed. I don't know about you, but I always did love the Brawler's Guild when it was available. Now, a bit of a long shot for 1026 could be further expansion of Bellameth. While I've been really pleased with the new zone for Night Elves, it has felt a bit sparse compared to some of the other major cities. Now, given the zones only just appeared, I'm actually okay with it starting out like this. After all, it would take some time for the Night Elves to fully build out the new city. I think it could be super cool if Blizzard gradually expanded out the zone with new content over the remaining patches. Now, the new Forsaken area that was added in 925 is honestly still in a bit of a Forsaken state. It doesn't even have an innkeeper. Bellameth is already a lot more fleshed out in that front, but I think it would be great to not follow that pattern with previous editions like this, where they just seem to get forgotten by devs. So yeah, I I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one too. In both Dragonflight Season 1 and Season 2, we get some kind of leveling boost in the last six weeks or so. With the final weeks of Season 3 likely to land towards the end of this patch, I'm expecting that we'll see something similar this time around. Now, the last couple of boosts were related to time walking, but with a lot of signs that they plan to do something different with time walking in 1027, I'm inclined to think that they might decide to do something else. Possibly we might see the old Winds of Wisdom flat XP and rep buff coming back. We can hope. On the subject of catch-up, the second minor patches of the WoW Seasons have also been the point where new catch-up gear has been added to the game. With Season 4 announcing a full gear update, including for the open world this time, I don't see any reason for them to not further update the catch-up gear. Most likely, probably something related to the public event, hopefully. Well, that's my shopping list of ideas for patch 1026. Whatever happens in this patch, the mystery about it has set expectations a lot higher than your average minor patch, and it's going to be interesting to see if Blizzard can rise to meet those expectations. But what about you? What do you think we could see in this patch? What features would you like to see make it into the game? Do let me know in the comments below. 
I plan to do weekly WoW news updates on this channel, along with a bunch of speculation, opinions and guides and more. If you want to be notified when I add a new video, do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And if you've enjoyed the video, let me and the YouTube algorithm know by prodding the like icon as hard as you can. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.